Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what Customer States? We had a squirrel infestation in the engine bay. We did remove the nest, and I, I appreciate that so much, you have no idea. But there is damage to the harness. Uh, we want to know if it's repairable or if it's not, please check and advise. And while you're there, perform multi point inspection. We'll say no more, we got you. Let's go right to the problem. They did remove the nest, but wow. Freaking Chippendales Rescue Rangers really did a number here. No, but those are freaking chipmunks. Who's a squirrel? I don't know. We need a character for a squirrel, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments. We need a we need a squirrel name. But look at that. We have a lot of damage here. The little guys even chewed. Oh man. Look at that, they even chewed the mounting to the harness. Now they have a check engine light, they have an ABS light, they have multiple codes. Uh, we have no AC operation. Uh, we have barely a throttle pedal. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna freaking quote a harness here. And that's what we're gonna do. There is a lot of damage here. There's wires that are freaking missing. Look, look, look. Where the rest of the wires go? Did they eat those too? Like I know the soy installation, but the freaking mounting plastic too? How hungry were they? Are they in the kennel? No, no, they're, they were nesting in the engine bay. Oh, great googly moogly, look at that belt. Oh, I gotta get a close up of that belt somehow. What is going on there? Something rubbing into the belt or something. I need to look. I need to look further into that, guys. Whoa. What is going on there? All right. I could see that there's flavor, too. I could see it from here. But, yeah, that belt ain't looking too good there, guy. All right. You know what comes next. Let's take it up top. So now that we have taken it up top, we could see, yeah, the belt is damaged. And you know what? Not for nothing. I want you to look at the belt routing. Let's put this light right here. And we're going to get up in there. Mount. The belt is supposed to be under that pulley right there. But instead, it's on top. And it's freaking grinding into the pump area right there and it's causing the belt to look like that. That's not good, man. Like, that is really not good. Oh, uh, we could also see the power steering line is uh, getting some flavors. Transmission lines, same thing. Frames looking decent though. There, there, there is some flavor. There is some rust available, but it, it, it could be worse. Like we, we can see, they did try. The frame has been coated. The frame has been treated. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Because you know, the further we go back, oh well, yeah, we got some flavor back here, but it ain't that bad. E-brake cable. Yep, it's. Look at that. Hold on, let's put the light down. It's all busted right there. How's how's this side? Same thing. Yep, same thing. Same exact thing. How's that trailer hitch looking? Let's see, that was a good flavor, Chip. Alright, so we got squirrels, but... Uh-oh. I think they're down up here, too. I'm gonna have to look at the footage to see how bad it is up here. Oh, no, I can see on the screen, yeah. We found their summer home. Let's look through this side, because I know I can see the fuel pump from, from right here. Are they there yet? No, they didn't make it that far. I could see the harness. Oh, man. Yeah, so we might, I might have to recommend to drop the tank to, to 
How about up here? Oh yeah, they're all, they're all down the line. Over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to recommend to drop this tank to, to inspect the harness over there because we might I would try and repair the one here because if anything that's a whole chassis harness and that's gonna be a bitch. Good. Alright, so let's go. Alright, now that we got it back down, and that's our damage. We're gonna quote the harness. We're gonna tell them about the power steering lines, we're gonna tell them about the transmission lines, we're gonna caution them. We might even provide a price quote for it. Just to let them have some reference for it and know what's involved. All right, well, there might be a part two on this, so we'll see. Until then, guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.